Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, we are going to be going over how to make a candlestick chart using Python. Python is an incredibly powerful tool when working with financial data, and when I scroll down, you can see that with just a few lines of code, we can easily make a candlestick chart tracking Tesla stock price over the past year with volume as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the proper libraries into Python. So the first one I'm going to import is plotly.graph underscore objects as go. And that's going to allow us to make our candlestick chart. This next one I'm going to import is going to be from plotly.subplots and we're going to import make subplots. And this is what's going to allow us to add a volume chart to the bottom of our candlestick chart. And then lastly, we are just going to import pandas as PD. And once I have these imported, in order to make our candlestick chart, we need to have a data set that lists the date, the open, the high, the low, the close, as well as volume. So for in order for us to do that, we're going to have to jump over to yahoofinance.com. So let's go ahead and jump over there now. And let's pull up this data on Tesla. And so you can see right here, I am on Tesla. If I come over here to historical data and click on this, and I'll scroll down, and you can see that we have the data set here that we need. It's got the date, high, low, close, open, and the volume. So let's go ahead and download this data set. Okay, so now that we have this data set downloaded, we need to get the data set into Google Colab so we can work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out from google.colab, I'm going to import files. And I'm going to hit enter and we want to do uploaded equals files.upload. And then when I run this code, it should give me the option to select the file. And okay, so I'm going to select choose file and I'm going to choose our Tesla data set. So now we have our data imported into Google Colab and we are ready to work with it. So let's go ahead and make sure that this data set is working correctly. So I'm going to do DF stands for data frame equals PD dot read underscore CSV. And we're going to type out the name of our data set, which is TSLA dot CSV. And I'm going to go ahead and come below here and do print DF. And I'll run this code and let's see, and it looks like our data set is showing up correctly. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have all the correct columns that we need. And I'm going to add another code. So in order to see the first five rows and all of our columns, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do data top is equal to DF dot head. And let's go ahead and run this code. And if I scroll down, we can see it looks like we do have everything we need. So now we are ready to begin making our candlestick chart. And if I'll scroll down, I'm going to add another line of code. The first thing we need to do is we need to set the index to our date. So let's go ahead and set the index. And to do that, I'm going to do data frame is equal to df dot set underscore index. And we're going to do an open parentheses and we're going to do PD dot date time index. And then do an open parentheses and we're going to set the index to date. Now let's go ahead and come below and see if this worked correctly and we will do print df. And let's run this code. And it looks like we have an error, so let's see what it's saying. So I think it might be a problem with the way I capitalized date time index. Let's try to make that correction. And it's still not working, so let's see. And I still think it might be a problem with my date time index. Let me fix this. And okay, so now we have the correct index. So now we're ready to actually start making our candlestick figure. 
So let's come below and we will title this figure equals to make subplots. And we want to have the ability to have a secondary y axis. So we're going to do that in this line of code here. And we're going to set our secondary underscore y to true. And now let's go ahead and add our data into this candlestick chart. So we're going to do figure dot add trace open parentheses. Then we're going to do go dot candlestick. We're going to indicate that we want to make a candlestick chart. Now we need to put our values into the candlestick chart. So we're going to come here and we're going to set x equal to df dot index comma we're going to come below and add low and which will be equal to df open parentheses low then we're going to set our high equal to data frame high and we will set our close equal to data frame close And we also need our opening price, so we'll set our open equal to data frame open. And we need to go ahead and close off this parentheses and add a comma. And then we want to make sure our secondary y is equal to true. So that way we can add a secondary y axis and add our volume. Now let's go ahead and run this code and make sure everything is working up to this point. So it looks like we have a syntax error. Let's just delete these parentheses right here. Those weren't supposed to be there. And run this code again. And okay, so when I scroll down, it looks like our candlestick chart is working properly. And you can see when I hover my mouse over this, we can actually adjust which dates we see. So this is an interactive candlestick chart. When I hover my mouse over the actual chart, you can see it provides the high, low, close, open, so this is a really great start to our candlestick chart, but we want to take it a step further and actually add a secondary y axis and add our volume. So let's come down here and we're going to type out figure dot add underscore trace. And we want our volume to be a bar chart. So we're going to do go dot bar. And we want our x to be equal to data frame date. And we want our y to be equal to data frame volume. And we don't want to add another secondary axis to this one, so this time we're going to set it to secondary underscore y is equal to false. So let's go ahead and run this code again, and let's see if the changes were made correctly. And when I scroll down, we can see that the volume is now showing up in the bar chart, or excuse me, in the candlestick chart as well. And just like the other one, if you hover your cursor over the volume, you can see exactly how much volume was traded on each individual day. So we can see a huge spike on this day right here. And we can also see the price movements, price movements in Tesla's stock price. So let's go ahead and update this figure one more time. And I want to add a title, a Y axis title and an X axis title. So let's go ahead and do figure dot update underscore layout. And I'm going to set the title equal to Tesla stock ticker, so just TSLA. And let's set the Y axis title to Tesla volume slash price. And then finally, let's go ahead and add the 
x-axis title and just make it date. And we'll close that off with parentheses and run this code. And when I scroll down here, you can see we finally have our finished candlestick product. We have our titles, our x-axis titles, our y-axis titles. We have our actual candlestick chart and we have the volume included. And remember, this is a completely interactive candlestick chart. So we have the ability to close in and look at certain dates. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.